So here's the website right now. It is the Q80 Pro E O N O N Chevy GMC Buick Android 10 car stereo with built in wireless Apple, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto 8 inch full touch IPS. Right now they have it a sale going on. Uh, I'll have a link for you. And this here says you save 130. I won't get one free backup camera gift. So here, here's the backup camera that we use. It's super, super, super clear as well. You guys seen in the video, it's very, very clear. So now let's get into the installation of this awesome radio and backup camera. So inside the kit, you can't, there's a harness inside there that's, uh, it's tailored to your vehicle. This is the GMC connection. Uh, they send it from the factory. Everything's labeled like that right there it says antenna. This right here says what speaker it is. Uh, audio output, yada, yada, yada. It goes on and on and on, right? So what we want to do is... Here's what the radio looks like as well. We'll get into the features and stuff afterwards. I'm going to get it installed first and show you guys exactly where we're going with it. Uh, unplug everything from this. And then up here, you can start pulling on this corner, working your hands around. And as you work your hands around, you real carefully, you can get this bezel all the way around off. A lot of people were being really careful with this. Eh, I don't know how I feel about that. I've been doing interior work for a really long time and I've never really had to be that careful. A lot of people were saying unplug these connectors and stuff down here. That's really not necessary to do that. You can just leave this thing lay right here. You don't need to unplug all these connectors. You got six millimeter or uh, seven millimeter screws all the way around. Three on this side, and then three on the other side. I just use a little cup holder down underneath it. Good thing about the GM stuff is they give you a lot of room to play with here. Push tab, black connector, push tag, purple. On this right here, on the back of this, should just be able to uh, pull out. There it is. And now, well, you know what? Real quick, plug it back in. Make sure you ain't got no CD player in it. I forgot about that. I bet you I do. Knowing her, she's probably got. Sure enough. It's as simple as that. Pop that CD out. That old junky GM radio is gone. Just put it on top. Let's go get the other radio. You see what I did here? I unplugged that GMC harness. What started happening right away, I started getting that warning from this. Pull the key out. That never worked with the other radio because it was starting to fail. So until you pull the key out, that's going to keep chiming. So you can put that wherever you want. You can hook it up or not hook it up. It's up to you. I'm going to leave it here and probably tuck it somewhere down inside here where it can't be removed. 
If you want it to shut up while you're doing this, just pull the key out, put the key back in, and then that chime stops. Now the next thing that you need to do is do exactly what I did here. I found the main connection that goes into the radio. If you follow this fused, follow this, this red wire, it looks like this here, it comes off of this box, and run it into your radio. And that's done. Now what you'll need to do next is get this jumper here and hook it into your antenna. And then it is this the one yeah, this is the one that goes into the back of the radio right here. Let's turn the key on and see what happens. So to hit the power button. So we have a door speaker problem and that's the second problem to this it's not just the radio itself it's not just the radio up there the factory radio you have a factory radio problem and you have a door speaker problem our problem now is well after we get our radio and everything installed we're gonna have to install our door speakers we're gonna have to change them out because one or one of them is faulty and it's causing the system to act up something I'm gonna do to this harness is this piece right here it goes to an amp you can see how it's got all these connectors for radios and special speakers and stuff. And right here it says amp control. We don't even need this. We're not going to use this. So I'm going to unplug this and I'm going to take this out to make it easier to manage the harness. And... This says video output, audio output. If I really needed all that, I mean, it is hooked into the main harness here. Whatever, I'm just gonna leave it as part of it. This here, audio, right rear. Audio right rear output. And these, I really don't need right now because I don't have any special speakers or anything hooked into the vehicle. Uh, I'm not going to touch them though. I'm going to leave it alone. This says brake. This says brake. That says ground. I really don't need that. I don't need this harness either. So for right now where it says brake to brake, it's a pink to a brown. I'm going to disconnect that. It's not necessary for what I'm doing. So for now, this little piece, for, I'm just going to take it out for now. Uh, I'll put audio control, I'll put... One of them says backup camera. Here's one that says antenna. That's antenna. This is the speaker, the ding speaker. I really don't need this. Here, TX and RX, amp and brake. 
antenna, I already got that done. Audio, 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 audio. Video input. This may be the backup camera. Let me look at the backup camera on the kit. And here's the backup camera you can get right here. Backup camera kit. It mounts to the back. And they give you a harness to go with it. This is audio, audio, video. So would the red go? No. Let me check my other harness. Oh, backup camera. So this does need to be hooked back in. Hmm. And now I'm on my GPS here and my, I kind of ran my wire just real lightly right here for right now so I can kind of figure out what I'm going to do exactly do with it. Um, so it's tucked right here along this and then I pulled my trim back and I got my GPS wire here and ran it down along this trim panel. Ran it back behind here the side piece pops off and then you can see here the GPS wire. I grabbed this real hard and popped it out and it's going to be down here below the clips. The clip in and ran it across the front and brought it up right in here and now it's hooked into the radio reading the directions it says that this they would prefer being put outside the vehicle but i really don't feel like mounting that gps outside the vehicle and then there's uh, a 4g antenna there and there's a 4g antenna there that i basically i ran around the side pulled the plastic piece off the side and i ran it in between the glove box right there it's like a little plastic channel. I ran it back behind this channel. You can move this down with your finger and tuck the wire back there. And then I ran it back up underneath this and ran it into the slot. It doesn't say, one says 4G plus, one says 4G minus, but it doesn't, these aren't marked. So they make it seem like you can just put it to either port you want. So I did. Um, where are we at now? What's my next step? My next step would be... Hold on a second. So I was messing around with it and I went ahead and hooked up the Android Auto while I was here just to sync to my phone if I wanted to play music or something like that. And on the back of this here, you can see the backup camera selection. Here's that wire I took off to begin with. The backup camera goes here in the corner. It's got the two little blue and it says ground. It says backup camera there's like a little red wire here that says backup camera well i went ahead and hooked that into the backup camera i'm going to solder that connection in and then i hooked the yellow connection into the backup camera input and i hooked it up to the camera already now watch what happens when i put it in reverse hello 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 Hello. It's pretty good. So now I'm going to go ahead and run this wire to the back and get this hooked up. And as we're hooking up the wire for the, the backup camera to, from the system here, 
Um, it's kind of tricky, but we ran it through here. We brought it through here on an angle, dropped it down into the glove box area, then put it around the back of the glove box, and now we're pulling it through down low. And we're looking at this now, and this says push, push. So this is open here on the side. Maybe, 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 maybe. Push, push. You. Oh, so you slide it sideways, then you lift it up, and there's a chip that you can put in there for internet. So you can have internet, but you got to figure out service provider to get your internet from. And this is the different audio outputs if you put in special speakers or something in your car. So I guess I have to have it hooked up if I want the internet stuff hooked up. And then you get, you can hook up to the back of it USBs. This is a USB port. And then you got another one USB port. So you got two USB ports there. And then they give you a spot for a third USB port. So these two, this is a double USB, this is a single USB. Okay, good enough for me. Filter and fuse box. And then this is a this is a communication box right here that handles all the communication that goes to a radio. This is antenna, but it doesn't really hook up to anything, honestly. Amp control. amp control so if I want to if I want to put an amp everything's already here for it this right here is the brake if I want to hook the brake the the brake wire up to the back which would be on the other end of the the camera wire system I can do that ground brake I wonder if they want these two hooked together here. Actually, yeah, that's why. So these two wires, you hook, hook it together. So there's the brake. If I hook up an amp, this is the amp control. These two go together. Well, I'll put those two as well. Even though I'm, I don't have amp right now, I don't really care, but. And then this was output right rear, RX, TX, and this will go. Like so. And I can hook into that if I need to. And this is more audio output stuff that I don't really need. And there's a black wire here that says microphone. I ran it along the plastic here as well. Around this, up the side, back behind the panel here. And put the microphone right there. That's for your like wireless hands-free stuff. Now you can see I kind of tucked everything like a rat's nest up in there, including that. But you know what? I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm not, I don't want to tuck anything away and finalize anything, but you can finalize it if you want right there where it is. But I'm going to leave it for now, and I'm going to put my HVAC controls and stuff in and see how everything starts to look and how it fits. And then just use your own discretion on finalizing where you want things. And this is what I did with the internet card and stuff. I put a hole right here, and then I pulled those through it. That's however you want to do there's the glove box ribbing and then there's the ribbing that's for the dash support and I just put all my USB stuff in here. And then this here ran the wire from the um, the backup camera back behind the HVAC box, brought it back in around over here, tucked it down inside the plastic 
actually pulling it through right here you go underneath this channel see right here how you got this there's a plug underneath the carpet right here I just put a little hole just knock the knock it out a little bit maybe make it loose so that it's not pinching the wire and the wires is resting there and then you can silicone around that so the silicone protects the wire and then you keep running your wire along the frame rail to the backup camera in the back I got the dash and everything back together let's turn it on It gives you warning that your uh, your doors are open. Maybe I leave the plastic for now, just just in case. Go to music. Navigation. Oh, this is through the, this is the navigation, the maps through the radio. You need to go through Android Auto, which is through your phone, until you get your internet card hooked up. I see. Android Auto. Then you got your maps back. I think it's upside down. More down. No, the camera down. Down, down. Right there. I can see a little bit. Can you put the camera down just a little bit more? The point to the ground. No, down. Good. Good, right there. And we just kind of ran the wires along the frame and brought it back up in here and then I ran the wire for the camera up underneath the license plate because there's a relief right there. It's the best I can do for right now. And taped up the loose wires and we're gonna tuck them up underneath there. And that's the backup camera. Why does it look like it's twisted, like it's not straight? Is it straight inside? It is? Yeah, it's straight. Yeah. Yeah, today's the 11. So uh, you guys can see now I have it. It's hooked up to my phone. And you can see this is this morning, me driving to work. So now I got the hotspot from my home my phone hooked up to the um but you can't have your android auto and the internet from your phone hooked up at the same time because android auto needs it so we'll keep kicking the internet off to your phone mm -hmm. and this here is you see i looked up the youtube channel 
you can go go through watch videos watch everything here mm -hmm. so that's the install that's it that's all i got for you guys right now uh i'm gonna clean this up and pretty easy overall nothing too crazy take care guys